All right, my friend, welcome. This is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi from the Fit Father Project. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to do a sumo squat, uh, which is a very underrated and underutilized lower body exercise that's great because it just involves uh, a single dumbbell. And it's great for your entire body, for your posture, for your lower body strength. So in today's video, we're gonna cover the form points of how to do the sumo squat. You're gonna see me do it uh, with this crazy uh, giant primal kettlebell goblin thing down here. And um, I'm gonna give you some tips on the proper sets and reps of how to incorporate sumo squats into your routine. I knew you were gonna learn a ton, so get out a pen and paper and let's dive on in. FitFatherProject.com. All right, so the sumo squat. Whenever you hear the word sumo, um, like a sumo deadlift or a sumo squat, what this essentially means, it's a wide stance squat. So if a traditional squat had my shoulders or my feet around shoulder width right here, and whether I'm holding a, a goblet squat or a barbell, sumo will be a much wider stance where typically um, my feet are pointed out, opening the hips up into external rotation and then getting down into position right here. So the sumo squat is is aligned with that. It's essentially, we're gonna have a dumbbell, we're gonna be holding it down here, squatting, and picking it right back up just like this. So it's very similar to a deadlift. I mean, there's not too much difference between a sumo squat in a sense of just like a dumbbell, single dumbbell deadlift. But I like to do things a little differently to make it a little more effective by creating a deficit where instead of being on the ground, we're gonna increase the range of motion by doing a sumo squat elevated on plates. And that means that my pull is gonna be coming from a deeper squat position than if I wasn't standing on these plates. So to start the sumo squat, what we're gonna do is we're gonna elevate our feet on some plates right here, wide, wider than shoulder width legs, Feet are externally rotated, not dramatic, doesn't need to be anything crazy like this, but a little external rotation. That's gonna be uh, dependent on your level of hip mobility. We're gonna drag the dumbbell right underneath into the middle of our center of gravity when we want it tight and right below us. We're gonna squat down just like this, grab the dumbbell here. Now look at me from the side here. Look at this starting position. It's very essential to see how my chest is upright. I'm deep in this squat position. My legs are firing, my glutes are firing from here. Come right on up to this position, pause, come right back on down, squat, touch, drive right back up through the heels, come right back down here. Notice a couple things. My spine stays very upright as I'm doing this. I'm driving through my legs, my back stays upright. I'm not hinging from the hip, meaning the difference with a deadlift might be that I would hinge a little forward from the hip and be a hip hinging motion. My torso is staying upright and I'm here and all the motion is coming from the legs and the glutes. I'm not hinging at the hip joint. Hip joint stays here, up and down, just like this. That's a big difference between a sumo squat and a deadlift. But again, a couple more clean reps. We're gonna address the goblin. Come down here, tight, deep breath, fire up. Right back on down, touch, fire up. Right back on down. Right back on down. So that is how you do a sumo squat. Again, incredibly effective exercise, especially if you get a big um, kettlebell like this. This is around 100 pounds here. You wanna get something heavy. So if you're doing this with 10, 15 pounds, you're kind of wasting your time. This is this power move with that wide stance and a properly weighted dumbbell. So get something heavy. I would do this after some of your main leg motion. So whether you squat or if you deadlift um, or if you do some kind of heavy leg press, do this afterward, towards the tail end of your workout, um, and do this on a deficit. Definitely get some of the prop yourself up, get that deeper range of motion with the legs and the hips, and do this a little higher rep. I recommend doing these in the maybe 10 to 15 rep range. You will get an amazing cardio metabolic benefit out of these, because you know being in this position right here with a heavy kettlebell, up and down is gonna do a lot for the pumping of your body, and you're really gonna like it. So two to three sets, 15 to 20 reps, that's your homework to go try. Get a big kettlebell or a big dumbbell. If you don't have access to something crazy like this, what you can do is get a big heavy dumbbell. So I'll show you an example here, actually. We're gonna pretend like this dumbbell here. Here, This is a, not, not too heavy, but this is a 40 pound dumbbell here. You can do sumo squats like this. Here, just like this, wide stance. Again, make sure that we're not rounding the back, we're staying upright. So you can use the dumbbell as well. And again, the common mistakes that I want you to avoid is hunching forward like this, rounding your back, and doing something like this, this weird rounded good morning. I want you upright in this position right here, legs out, 
coming right up. Almost feel like your hands are in your groin and they're coming right up and down, driving in your hips. The, the weight does not move off your hips, it stays up and down right here in this plumb line. So that is the sumo squat. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, you learned something, you like the form points, or if you even like or hate this goblin guy, Give us a thumbs up, let us know. Drop a comment below, we'd love to hear from you. And as always, subscribe to our Fit Follow Project YouTube channel. We have hundreds of videos on the channel right now at the time shooting this. All the best exercise tutorials, whatever you're looking for, we got a video for it on the key form points. But we also got stuff on nutrition, fat loss exercise, building muscle, staying motivated, all the stuff you need to stay strong and healthy for your family. We are the Fit Father Project. This is what we do. We're glad you found us and we can't wait to continue to serve you around our YouTube channel, on our blog, and with all of our videos, there's also an article on our blog associated with this video. So if you want more tips about sumo squats and some related exercises, you can click the link in the description, head over to the blog, and we'll give you all that stuff. And we also have a cheat sheet of the best exercises, the 50 best exercises broken up by body parts. So sumo squats makes a list on one of the best lower body exercises. We have even more broken up by chest, back, shoulders, arms, legs, hamstrings, everything. We got the full list. We can send that to your email as well. There's links below as well as on the blog where you can get that sent to you. And we'll follow up with you and give you, more, give you some more awesome training on workouts that I know you're going to love. So thanks for being here, my friend. Thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you around the channel, and I'll talk to you very soon.